Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. So I've actually already made a video about the Ecom station and this whole concept of OS2 and why I wanted to try OS2, what was my motivation to try OS2. But I mentioned that I didn't got any response from Arco OS team because I actually wanted to try something really really recent. And since I got no response, I was just thinking okay it's never gonna happen. So I was finally able to get response from them and I was able to uh, acquire this operating system for my personal usage. So now I'm just gonna basically try it and just uh, to see it like how it works. In order to try it, I just basically prepare the virtual machine and I'm just gonna install it there. So, okay, let's go ahead and start it. All right, so resolution is not ideal, but okay, so let's just try it with this one. All right, so we're gonna select boot, boot with the default options. ArcOS logo. There's some licensing information we shall just hide from you, but <laughs> Yeah, so each copy of Arco is basically licensed to a specific user. You can only like purchase it for yourself or for a specific number of users, but it's just like, okay, just lock down to specific user and it's just IBM policy and that's how it works. There's no way around it. Okay, so let's just pick the default options, press next, and you need to actually scroll down to this agreement to be able to install it basically. So there are two versions, personal edition and commercial edition. Of course, I have the personal edition and let's go ahead and check this option of course we already read this license so let's go ahead next and I actually already marked the disk for this specific usage there are multiple installation types here the single volume multiple volumes enterprise workstation so as you guys remember back from those times the installation options were like huge <laughs> so Arca OS just continues this tradition so we're gonna select the single volume with default options uh, what is going on with my mouse I probably selected something correctly in the video I selected just default options and I selected 128 megabytes of video memory but I don't know why it's just like messing around like that okay next gathering disk information so target volume uh, I think it should just show the volume that I have here let's see I don't have anything so manage volumes I guess yes so we're gonna use this volume is it's 11 GB volume we're gonna say create volume standard bootable volume okay and next letter zero volume we're gonna call it Arca OS. Next, use primary partition. Okay, now what I need to finish. Okay, so we're gonna just pick this one. No, I need to format it. Make startable. Then what's next? Uh, do I need, should I close it? Put disk. Oh my gosh, so many options like in all those old bearing system that I used back in the day, but I just got used to it like Windows 10 like or like Mac kind of style where you just like select any partition and it does all the job. Wait, okay, now let's close it. Do you wish to save your changes? Yes, I wish to save my changes. Let's go ahead. Okay, so now I have it. Uh, see unknown. The format, okay, we're gonna select which format. Okay, just let's just pick the default one, JFS. Yes. Next, code page, United States of America, region Eastern. Let's just pick something uh, Pacific. Enable internet time synchronization. And we're just gonna select next. All right, so configure hardware. Oh my, yeah, I remember that from the Econ Station install. We just need to manually pick all this stuff here. Why USB is not checked by default? Oh, multimedia. Why none selected to key universal audio driver? I mean, this should be all selected by default. Why should I select, select this? Virtual Machine Integration Oracle Virtual Box Editions. Okay, that's good. It has already selected. PS2 mouse, generic VESA driver. The thing is that I, I don't even know which one should I select because it's like those options doesn't look perfect, but still probably we should select this one, of course, since it's a modern system, we should have it. But why is it like, okay, basic of the modern hardware. Ah, it's like a profile type, vintage hardware and modern hardware. Okay, and then uh, let me select the stuff here. Okay, display probably should select enhanced VESA driver. I'm not sure which one should I pick. Maybe I can install it later. Okay, let's go next. Network adapters, probably this is the one I need. I don't really remember like all the devices I installed in my virtual machine or like or whatever. Just like, should I keep track of all those? <laughs> next, ArcOS user, uh, default username, Nomadic, Dimitri, computer name. Why is it invalid? See help. 
just come on, just tell me why is it invalid? Merrick Dmitry. Oh, whew, finally. Mouse type is right handed, keyboard and shark system volume C unknown, unknown free. Why is that known free? The Medic Dmitry RCOS computer name. I don't like the computer name, let's just leave it like this. Computer name and the RCOS. Next. Okay, next. Alright, so it's preparing file system and copying files. This all reminds me of Windows kind of installation. But Windows had some wizards going going on, like actually like describing what's new in the operating system and there's like not nothing actually here. And does it actually if I press it and does it show something? No, it doesn't show anything. Yeah, I mean it doesn't look really polished. Mostly feels like a ecom station a little bit improved. I think so. Yeah, probably, but very geeky. This is good, and at the same time, this is bad because it's just like you need to like memorize all the hardware configuration you have and all the devices you have and like why this is more like 2020 come on you should not care about those things <laughs> Alright, so after restart we have those options, by the way it's strange that after I navigate like this, this counter that just doesn't stop, this is strange. Okay, boot from hard disk. Um, okay, it's booting something and it continues the installation. Again, this is just reminds so much of like Windows kind of installation where like it restarts like five times, then you get the burning system. See OS2, alright, it just keeps installing stuff here. OS2 CMD, that executable. Let's see how it works. All right, so it actually starts. So let's see, creating objects. And again, this is just so similar to Windows kind of installation. Copying files again, just continues copying the old stuff, like early versions of Windows. Oh, that's actually interesting. The Firefox browser is shipped with the Arc OS, which is cool. So I think, yes, yeah, so this is like one of the benefits of installing the Arc OS instead of the previous version. It's already shipped with the latest version of Firefox. It also installs Thunderbird, Mail and News, which is good. It seems like there's a, a good default set of applications right there. Arc Mapper Connection Manager, not sure about this one. Installing Windows 32 compatibility libraries, Odin 32. This is huge, this is great guys. So the fact that it's shipped by default, it makes a lot of difference. So I actually like this, which basically means that I think you should be able to install some of the Windows 32 a bit of applications right there, which makes it like really quite modern operating system. Qt4 runtime libraries, which is also good. Probably it makes you able to install like OpenOffice and all those kind of projects here. So yeah, which is great. Ecosoft features, not sure about this one. Installing Lucid Document Viewer, Open GDK Runtime Environment, updating the desktop, finishing phase 2. I hope the phase 2 is actually the final one. Okay, so system will automatically reboot and we press reboot here. Again, select the boot from hard drive, Arc OS. Oh my gosh, config sys and all this junk. It just reminds me of so much of Windows 98, 95. <laughs> you press enter to continue, okay. USB driver installed, legacy mouse not found, something not found, not installed. Okay, it seems like, okay, all right, it's booting up. Creating objects, okay, okay. It finally loaded, that's nice guys. So the next step is actually configure all this stuff. But before doing that, first let's open the network folder. Cool, and everything like I expected it to be here. Firefox, come on, it's loading. One more time, is it opening? Come on, no? Okay, desktop, Firefox. What is that? Oh, yes, finally it's loading something. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, there was some delay in starting up and then it finally started. Yeah, this was not intuitive at all this was just uh, what okay I closed everything now okay, one more time and this time I just press it and I wait okay now let's check the version of the Firefox of course I mean it's running slow because it doesn't have a display driver probably some other drivers I'm missing as well the Firefox ESR F45 uh, I'm not sure which uh, year is that I mean it's just so messed up I just like I'm confused with all those buttons it just doesn't feel like intuitive but I mean this is always two thing I know it let's go to I don't know somewhere uh, Apple.com so let's see if it loads okay and then okay it actually was loading yes so actually loads yeah 
I mean the browser is working at least I'm able to like run something here and of course the next step is actually to configure this all to configure the device drivers and to like figure out how it all works but so far it looks like very very similar to ecom station with just like updated applications which is what I expected I mean I'm not fooled by it. like this is like a completely new system but still some very very legacy things that I wish were like updated and improved but this config mask config sys mask and all that I mean I still see the stuff so and it's really really unintuitive to actually get started because the driver configuration wizard is really confusing there's no, no like an automatic mode there's like nothing like that so all right we'll figure out how it works all right guys thank you for watching this video if you liked it please press the like button subscribe and there will be more videos and of course in the next video we'll actually mess around with the system we just try to install some applications here and see how it works arc os is really really interesting for me even though it feels kind of outdated and there are still some legacy problems here i still feel that it has a potential if like more people are, like interact with it if more people actually used it but this is what we have now and we're just living in this world okay thanks guys